I am Dr. Sundar, Consultant Nephrologist, Head of International Transplant Services of the Manipal Hospitals in Bangalore. A patient who, who is uh, going for transplant, normally before transplant they are on dialysis. The period of dialysis could vary from weeks to months to years, depending on the availability of the donor. When you are on dialysis, normally what happens, one of the functions of kidney is to keep the hemoglobin up by a substance called erythropoietin. When the erythropoietin level is low, they get anemia. And olden days, 25 years ago, this substance called erythropoietin was not available and patients were given blood transfusion. The problem with blood is, blood can carry infection. It can be hepatitis A, B, C or it can be even other infection like HIV or AIDS. So, to avoid blood transfusion is all very important when you go for transplantation. Other problem with blood is when you give blood, the blood actually forms what is called as antibodies in the patient. These antibodies can damage the new transplant kidney. In fact, we suggest a person going for transplantation to avoid blood transfusions and avoid blood products to prevent what is called as sensitization. Sensitization means somebody who has received blood or a lady who has had multiple pregnancies, they have antibodies in them which can cause rejection of the kidney and the survival of the transplant kidney can come down. So we suggest to all patients on dialysis before transplantation to avoid blood or blood products to prevent not only hepatitis and uh, HIV and other sort of infection but also to see that they don't form what is called as preformed antibodies which could damage the transplant kidney and the kidney could reject it.